Okay. Well, then maybe you will need this. You know what this what is? It, what? You're Supergirl. Felicitaciones. Muy bien. So finally, after years and years of this rumored movie called The Flash Movie, The Flash TV show starring Grant Gustin, it's just about to finish season seven and they're finally starting to shoot The Flash Movie. So we've had some pretty interesting information come out about who, what and where Supergirl is coming from and how. But what's interesting is people are trying to pull on this agenda that Henry Cavill Superman is going to be killed off. Just like we said in the video today, Henry Cavill Superman is still Superman. Sasha Kala playing Supergirl from a different Earth, Latino Supergirl. Well, not a Latina Supergirl. I mean, the actress is a Latino. So I cannot wait to see this version of Supergirl. So what is good YouTube? Voice you here. If you're new around here, make sure to subscribe. Don't ever miss the videos. Check us out on Instagram at Voice you if you want to see the face by the voice. Check us out on Twitter, Voice you if you want to keep up to date with all the latest and greatest info that I post. And also check us out on twitch.tv forward slash you. So as you know, there's a big drama going on behind the scenes where basically what's going to happen is Discovery is going to destroy and dissolve Warner Brothers. So anything Warner Brothers brothers currently says joker 2 etc take it with a pinch of salt because discovery is going to literally clean house when they take control obviously the flash movie is still going to go ahead because they're shooting it the same with black adam the same with aquaman 2 and wonder woman 3 etc but eventually discovery will clean house and sort everything out so the latest rumor and i call it rumor i haven't even actually reached out to anyone because the rumor is ridiculous is that henry cavill superman is going to die in this movie it's almost ridiculous as the ben affleck is gonna die in this Flash movie to reboot the DCEU even though this movie has to be Snyderverse to start off with because they're all Snyder's characters pretty much. So the actress, Sasha, put up a picture on her social media. Actually, I don't know where it comes from. And she's donning a new hairstyle which looks freaking hot. And it's very reminiscent of a DC adaptation of a exact character in DC Comics. And now this leads people to believe that she will in fact be the alleged daughter of Superman, being Henry Cavill Superman, who's actually dead, but no. In the comics, this character's from a different Earth, just like we always said. So, Sir L, spelt C I R then L. So, Sir L is apparently going to be the version of Supergirl that we are getting. It's interesting because she wore a black custom cape with blue on it as well, and was originally introduced as the alleged daughter of Superman. Later, it was revealed who she was, and she was a human girl genetically altered by by the villain Brainiac to appear Tonyan. Interesting. Now, just because the Flash Supergirl has the same hairstyle doesn't actually mean this is anything to do with the interpretation of the character she is, but this has led many Twitter super duper scoopers and a lot of people to come to this conspiracy theory that Henry Cavill Superman is going to be killed off and she's going to time travel for some reason, but it is a Flash movie. There is time travel in it, but the history of this character is very interesting. She's brought to the past from the distant future. So is an excitable woman eager to meet her father, i.e. Henry Cavill Superman. But when a secret plot coordinated by the mysterious future Smith is revealed, it is left to Superman and his daughter to discover a hidden agenda of the future and save the world from what it might become in the future, which is interesting. So obviously she's got affiliation to Superman. Her dad is obviously Superman. Relatives technically Brainiac because he's the creator. Carlisle genetical genetic template. On our half brother, so it's it's going to be very interesting to see how deep they go with the heritage in this. Now, Andy Machete, I do have a lot of trust in Andy Machete. Although Walter Hamada is linked to this movie, from what we understand, it's just literally that his name just literally on it as an EP. Apparently, he hasn't actually got anything to do with the overall narrative, and apparently that's the reason why this movie took so long to start shooting. So, if she is going to be from a different planet, it will make sense that she is the Supergirl of Michael Keaton's planet that would make a lot of sense now we know michael keaton's in the movie that's being confirmed and verified currently in scotland they're building a set out to look like the tim burton universe of batman that also hints that it's going to be michael keaton which would be very interesting so this has all come from her having a short haircut and everyone's like henry cavill is going to die Bam. ben affleck is going to die realistically guys they're not it's literally she's got a haircut she could be superman's daughter that would be a very interesting route to go down it just depends how 
how they're going to actually play out in the movie. Don't just assume what's going on because she's got a haircut. It could literally be anything. But it does look like it's pulled straight out of the comics, which is pretty damn cool. So as we know, The Flash is also expected to return Ben Affleck and Michael Keaton's alliterations of their own Batman. Kirstie Clemens, Iris West is apparently supposed to be in it as well. And of course, they've had to change the actor of Henry Allen due to him being on another movie and couldn't get around to scheduling a shooting conflict. So they had to recast him. The film will be held by Andy Muschietti with the script from Birds of Prey and Batgirl's Christina Hansen. Now, this is like, I mean, I've heard from behind the scenes that the script is good. I've also heard there's multiple, multiple variations of the script in case they want to change everything with reshoots. So although this movie has a lot of potential, it also could be an absolute train wreck. This movie is a bit of a hinge in the sense that it presents a story that implies a unified universe where all the cinematic regulations that we've seen before are valid. Machete said in a recent interview with Vanity Fair last year, it's exclusive in the sense that it's saying all you've seen exists and everything that you will see exists the same unified universe, multiverse. So in theory, the Snyderverse still exists in this universe because Andy Morshetti himself is saying it's a unified universe, which is interesting. So all the Snyderverse fans saying they're going to boycott this movie, literally that makes no sense to me. By the time this movie comes out, it will be Discovery Warner or Warner Discovery. So literally main, most people at Warner Brothers will be out of the door anyways. So as we know, the Dwayne The Rock Johnson is currently shooting his Black Adam movie, which is going to be interesting. Recent comments made by Danny Garcia should make people even more excited about the character. Obviously, The Rock teased the costume without teasing it. We're probably not going to see it to DC fandom event. I doubt anything's going to leak. So speaking with Variety, Garcia wouldn't say exactly how many Black Adam movies are planned. Now, this has taken over 10 years to get going, so this ain't a one-off movie. However, she did suggest the character will be around for a while. We want to do many films. We're excited about our long-term relationship with DC on this property. And it's very interesting how they didn't say long-term relationship with Warner Brothers. Long-term relationship with DC. While this is exciting to hear, it doesn't really come to a huge surprise. Like Marvel, DC likes to build individual franchises around popular characters. And The Rock, Black Adam, is going to be popular. But you can't have Black Adam without a version of Superman, can you? And it won't be the Black Carlisle, will it? No, it will be Henry Cavill's Superman, who's also managed by Danny Garcia, who's also The Rock's business partner and agent. So you can see where we're going with this. So it's very interesting that they are planning to build a Black Adam universe, which will have to include Shazam at some point, which is also very interesting. So the future of DC is bright. The future of DC doesn't really rely on Warner Brothers, like people keep saying. Like the fact that Zack Snyder keeps saying stuff like, screw WB, because WB's out the door. We know this. This has been confirmed and verified that Discovery merger is going through and they will take over. But something else that came out recently, Joker 2 Todd Phillips reportedly returns to write sequel script. It seems to me that Warner Brothers are throwing everything they can and then Discovery will come in and clean house. Is Joker 2 needed? No. So the Hollywood Reporter recently said this, Todd Phillips struck a deal to co-write the next Joker Joker installment. What is one of the biggest indications so far that a sequel is in development? Warner Bros. has yet to officially confirm this. A separate report from The Hollywood Reporter also claims to have inside information on Warner Bros. schedule. Also said that Joker has a planned sequel. Yeah, yeah I don't really believe anything when they say, uh, you know, we've, we've got a source. This article was largely focused on Warner Bros. coming out with Superman film, confirmed Joker, Joker 2 would take place in the same universe. Okay, so we know this about a week or so back, that Joker 2 was in the article, but there was never any affiliation. There was never an attachment to who was going to write it. Now, is Todd Phillips writing it a good idea? I mean, he was involved with the first one, so that would make a lot of sense. It seems to me that Warner Bros. are just throwing a lot of ideas out there to see what people are thinking. Rather than restoring the Snyderverse, which is what people really... Now, yes, the first Joker movie did bang over a billion at the box office because it was a one-off movie. Now, what are they going to do? Introduce the Batman into this universe? That's all. That's what we want to see. Did the first Joker movie even happen? It's really hard to tell what, what Warner Bros. and DC are doing because I have trust in DC, but I don't have trust in Warner Brothers, if that makes sense. But like I said, they're all going to be out the door very soon. So Joker 2 apparently is part of the new slate alongside this 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 woke, let's turn Carlisle black Superman film. Wonder Woman 3, promising young woman filmmaker also will be involved. And we've got the DC Comics Suicide Squad movie coming this summer that no one seems bothered about. Just being honest, we've got Zendaya solo movie as well coming. So there isn't really much of an 
that's that I have faith in, so to speak, because until this merge is closed and stuff like that, everything's up in the air. Everything can be scrapped unless they're actively working on it right now, rather than it being in the early stages. So it is very, very interesting. So likewise, guys, check it out on Instagram at Warshu if you want to see the face behind the voice. Check us out on Twitter, Warshu G. Also check us out on Twitter TV forward slash Warshu if you want to help support the channel, and also become a member of the channel for 99B. And I will get you in another video, guys, very soon. Catch ya later. Peace.